This is CPE for Kids, a Bible Truth Ministry. Hi kids! Welcome to CPE for Kids. I've got somebody I'd like you to meet. This is my sister Flash Pinky. We just call her Pinky, cause it's easier. Hi kids! It's very nice to meet you. I hope we can have a lot of fun today. Today we are having a house party. It's a good way to love your neighbor as yourself. The Lord can love our friends through us. Did you know that kids? God can give us the love we need to love our friends. Because naturally we don't love anything but ourselves, so we need to pray and ask God to give us love for our neighbors. It makes things much more enjoyable when we are good to others. This is our friend Sprocket. He's a robot. He loves to monitor computers on Ralph and Henry's spacecraft. Hi kids. It's so nice to meet you. I love having new friends. Hi kids. It's nice to meet you. My name is Zippy. I'm a robot too. I like to monitor the sensors and radar on Ralph and Henry's spacecraft. It's so much fun. When we feel discouraged, it is a good idea to read the Psalms in the Bible. If you're still too young to read it, you can always have a grown-up re read it to you. This is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore we won't be afraid, though the earth changes. Though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas. Though its waters roar and are troubled. Though the mountains tremble with their swelling. Selah. There is a river, the streams of which make the city of God glad. The holy place of the tents of the Most High. God is within her. She shall not be moved. God will help her at dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He lifted his voice and the earth melted. Yahweh of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, see Yahweh's works. What desolations he has made in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. And we're off. Welcome aboard the USS Angel. I'm your captain, Captain Henry. We are currently traveling at warp 29. Smooth sailing if I say so myself. Oh no. Dropping out of warp. Oh my lands. It looks like a loaf of bread. Ha ha. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees. Oh. 
Now firing the word of God lasers. Target destroyed Sir Captain Henry Sir. All right, way to go. Let's get out of here. Perhaps there's more to this story. Did I hear somebody say story? Then boy do I have a story for you. It's story time kids. Remember our characters pretend to be Bible characters. We do this to bring God's stories to life for his little ones. We hope it's a blessing. The first part of our story is from John chapter 8. I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness but we'll have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said to him, You testify about yourself. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered them, Even if I testify about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from, and where I am going, but you don't know where I came from, or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am with the Father who sent me. It's also written in your law that the testimony of two people is valid. I am one who testifies about myself, and the Father who sent me testifies about me. They said therefore to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. Jesus spoke these words in the treasury, as he taught in the temple. Yet no one arrested him, because his hour had not yet come. Jesus said therefore again to them, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sins. Where I go, you can't come. The Jews therefore said, Will he kill himself, because he says, Where I am going, you can't come? He said to them, You are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore to you that you will die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. The first part of our story is so sad kids. Jesus gave everything to save us, including his very own life on the cross. And these Pharisees rejected him right to his face. They were more worried about their own reputations and religious authority, than truth. These men had no faith, and hope was right in front of their eyes. How could anyone not care about their very own souls? Kids, Jesus is everything. He is life. He gave his life because he loves us. He died for us. Jesus is so good to us. Please kids, don't be foolish. Cry out to Jesus and ask him to save you, if you don't know him. Please friends. Please don't say no to Jesus. For God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, so that we would not perish, but have eternal life. Please friends, don't make Jesus sad again. He loves us. The Pharisees and Sadducees came, and testing him, asked him to show them a sign from heaven. But he answered them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. In the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and threatening. Hypocrites! You know how to discern the appearance of the sky, 
but you can't discern the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and there will be no sign given to it, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. He left them and departed. The disciples came to the other side and had forgotten to take bread. Jesus said to them, Take heed and beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They reasoned among themselves, saying, We brought no bread. Jesus, perceiving it, said, Why do you reason among yourselves, you of little faith, because you have brought no bread? Don't you yet perceive or remember the five loaves for the five thousand, and how many baskets you took up, or the seven loaves for the four thousand, and how many baskets you took up? How is it that you don't perceive that I didn't speak to you concerning bread? But beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he didn't tell them to beware of the yeast of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Bye bye precious ones.